sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Else wants some.
Ha! Easy! Another one bites the dust. else wants some. <laughs> oh yeah. No! 
Another one bites the dust.
Who else wants some? <laughs>
Another one bites the dust. Else wants some. Another one bites the dust. Nice. want some.
Another one bites the dust.
Easy. Another one bites the dust. else wants some. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another one bites the dust. want some.
Another one bites the dust. Just want some. else want some.
Ha! Easy! Oh yeah! Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust.
Another one bites the dust. Else wants some.
else wants some? <laughs> else want some. Another one bites the dust. Else want some. Another one bites the duck.
Site. And just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, marry, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves, <laughs> literally. We'd travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yep, yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. <laughs> we sure did when we got our hands on it. Behold, the Fun Size Forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the Porter Pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties.
One, two, three, look out, trees! Oh, a woodcutter's life is the life for me! <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again! If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll... Ta-da! You called? Sicky devil at your service! <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge! I'm not about to let you fix it again! Here! Get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam! <laughs> You're a silly old woodcutter. The next minute, you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. <laughs> My doggy, stay. <laughs> treasure chest. I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet. What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere.
here come my next victims. Ta -da! Introducing the one, the only, Tricky Devil! Uh, hi. Hey, you're supposed to be shocked by my devilish trickiness. No? Time for plan B then. Take this! <laughs> Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you just do, oh, cheeky devil? Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! the pooch <laughs> not anymore thanks to you I'm back to my old self I'm Flint the woodcutter by the way and I owe you more than words can possibly say how can I ever repay you it's funny you should ask we were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up it would be my pleasure. 
Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life is some god. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil, a piece of root poking through from beneath. said that the world tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing, but did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the world tree. And you've got great hair, too. Life just isn't fair. <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on, 